Hello everybody, hope this finds you well. It's a little short intro to uh, what this is about. I'm going to do a little uh, how-to. A friend asked me how I did a certain little clip for uh, a video I made a while back, so I'm going to show you. And here's the clip, and this is the rest is self-explanatory. And here's the clip. The link to the video that this clip's from be below if you want to check that out. Now someone the other day asked me if I'd show them how to do this, so this is uh, going to be kind of a tutorial on this. Sort of. Uh, I sped it up quite a bit. Uh, takes a little time to draw a tree, you know. Wanted to look halfway decent but one thing about art this kind of art in particular that I do you don't have to be perfect or precise you just have to give the illusion the mind of the observer will get the rest so now I copy this draw this tree and I copy all the different stages which I go through in in making this tree I'll copy each stage so that I'll have a picture of each of that and kind of draw I'm trying to do this the same way I did the other thing but I thought well I lost all the images from it so I uh, decided to make it different I'm doing the same steps to keep from having to make every single leaf in the summer tree in the autumn tree a little trick I use if you understand the fractal nature of nature and of trees it's become a pretty easy task just be observant of nature and you'll figure that out Okay, now I've taken that picture and I've small made it smaller so that it will fit my image better. Take a copy of it and then paste it into the other base tree that I start with. Just keep doing that until you fill it in. Remember to turn some of them around, you know, flip them horizontally. And it creates a pattern. The eye recognizes and sees a tree with full of leaves. Nice trick, art. It's all an illusion. It's on how the mind works. Now instead of coloring every single leaf, we just go in here to that same picture of the leaf cluster that we created and turn them into autumn leaves. Do the same process of making them small again copying them and just uh, cover up the leaves you made from before so remember to save each stage as you go along save save each stage as you go along the more transitions you make the smoother your little animation will end up being now uh, save all these different stages and you can go back we've made summer and fall now let's work on winter we do a little bit of winter going back to the same base tree you always want to keep the same base tree remember to save each stage as you go through this now you can get more detailed than me but I to save time I didn't get that detailed now, time for the movie maker action. We want some pictures. We're going to desktop. We want to get our get our pictures here that we saved from working on the tree. Now, all we got to do now is drop the trees. Procession 
we want them to take. Here, see. Now one of the features I like about this is you can blend the images together into a smooth transition between them. Now just to preview it here, we'll run this and see the effect. Okay, and then, as always, the seasons begin again, as here. Now, isn't that a cool effect? Now, all you gotta do is publish that. I always publish mine to the desktop so I can find them easier. And it's as simple as that of making an effect. Most of the time, and the effect is in drawing the pictures. Putting it together is the easy part. So really, the effect is the easy part. And here's what our outcome is. You get the idea how the effect works. Now, you can now remove that. You can now take that, look for look for the videos. There it is on the desktop. You can bring that in here. You can do effects like uh, speed it up. You can speed it up. You now have the same thing going a little faster. Now, if you want to do it like I did in the other thing, you can copy it. And you can paste it in here, and you can then have it have the seasons running in the cycles uh, more than once. And just publish the movie o over again. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Peace, love, and understanding. Sure, pretty day here. Hope you're all having a nice day where you're at. You having a good day, Abby?